some this differential. Since it's the one that makes it turn left or right, we have to put something that stops it. As you can see, you can see the foil in there. This is we put it so it over the hat, and then we put like the dirt and sponges, and since like the sponges soak up the water, and we're putting water in there, and then the dirt, we like make sure the water doesn't go through. And so with this cloth, it won't get all muddy on your head. You have to change the spoon a little bit. Yeah. Because we have a spoon to pick up the balls and throw them, but they said that it needs to be articulated. Uh huh. Yeah. What well, was the most difficult part? Yeah. Um, the most difficult part was the debris and the loops. So some of the advice that we are giving to students would be to go back using their engineering notebooks and to consider different variables, so looking at uh, the axle that they're using, looking at the materials they're using for um, the wheels, looking at the body, um, how can they concentrate the solar energy onto the cell. So just going back and looking at each of those variables and how can they maximize that to get the best performance from their car. In our design process, we see a bunch of different aspects to it. We try one way, we try another way. Um, we have people from the other uh, team projects um, talking to one another about what works and what ideas that they have. And then uh, when we build it, we test it out. Is it working in the way that we need it to work? Is it doing what we think it should be doing? Where is it succeeding? Where is it failing? What were some of the biggest challenges you saw with students and their, their projects? I think um, considering more variables, considering things that, that they didn't really consider beforehand, some things that I, I was listening and other people were bringing up, some things that I brought up, um, they were like, oh, I never thought about that before. And um, I think that because they never thought about that before, they didn't really incorporate it into their design. And so it, all of the projects, everyone, can, can, always, be, can always be improved upon. Um, but I think for the most part, it was things that they thought about were addressed very well, but things that they didn't were not even touched on. What were some of the challenges in putting it together? Doing it right? Yeah, like, because we had like this break loop, yeah, here, here, but one issue that would arise was like, yeah. when we're doing it, yeah, move the bit, the whole thing, thing would move, yeah. and it wouldn't stick yet. You have to hold, you have to sit there and hold it. Yeah. Sit there and hold it, so yeah, the glue can set. And that was, I think that also may be an issue that it's not aligned right, because on the way we might have moved, we might have tweaked a bit, and it moved, and it messed the whole thing up. What are some changes you guys have to make these next couple of months? The um, loops? Yeah, only, only the loops. How did you come up with the idea? Like the magnets and... Well, we needed a, a cooking sample to actually pick up the wrench and have it actually like be, it be usable, be strong enough to be able to move the actual bolt. So we figured that magnets are really strong, so we decided to go with what were some of the challenges you had with it? We're trying sewing. to sew the plastic. How oh. did you sew it on there? <laughs> wow, oh, that's it. <laughs> it is sewed with purple, <laughs> purple string. <laughs> uh, this has been spectacular, just seeing all the teams meeting together. and um, I, I actually see the kids talking to one another. So it looks like it's been a really great uh, way for the kids to collaborate. Um, they get to see not only how theirs are uh, being successful and being uh, and their failures, but they also get to see where other students are succeeding and failing. They're, they're talking to each other and they're building their little minds around these problems. So it's really nice to see how well they're, uh, they're pulling us all together and really growing from it all.